Okay, do girls just like not have hobbies? Does it matter? Now, the process of being alert and focused on particular material that you want to learn can be enhanced. And so it is the hallmark of all good learners to be able to voluntarily force yourself to attend and to focus. And when I say force yourself, that means a constant bringing back of your mind's attention to whatever it is you're trying to learn. Thinking, okay, I need to learn this, I need to learn this. You can voluntarily ramp up your level of focus and alertness by telling yourself that information is important. It is meant to feel difficult. I say meant to feel difficult because that strain that you feel, that encouraging, or in some cases, forcing yourself to attend, sometimes even putting on a hoodie and hat, you know, literally putting blinders so that you can only attend to the material right in front of you, that straining that you feel reflects in part the release of neuromodulators like epinephrine, adrenaline in the brain and body, which serve to cue the neural circuits that they need to change at a later time. Okay, so the strain that you feel in trying to learn, the strain that you feel in forcing yourself to learn how to focus, that is good. That's a cue to your nervous system that it's going to need to change, that neuroplasticity needs to take place. So that strain that you feel, that agitation is great. That's a cue that you are learning or that you set the learning process in motion. Don't be a passive participant in learning. This is the basis of active learning by expecting the information to be so interesting that it pulls your level of attention and focus out of you. Rather, learn to engage your attention and focus voluntarily, volitionally.